And we spoke a little bit earlier about uh, crab spiders being one of, or the six-eyed desert crab spider as being one of the most dangerous of the South African uh, spiders. Well, I have a crab spider here, and very similar to those leopard that you were having a look at with Jamie, these crab spiders are ambush specialists. These spiders, and there she is over there, basically hang around flowers, and they can actually change their color to a degree to mimic the flower's background that they're on. This particular uh, uh, spider has chosen a light greenish color, and I think it's because she likes to hang around at the base of these flowers, these Waltheria flowers. And what she's looking for is to catch a pollinator. You can see that the four front legs are very, very much more well-developed or much more muscled than the four back legs are. And that's because she uses those very robust front legs to grip flying prey and then to bite it. And similar to the six-eyed desert crab spider, which is of significant medical importance to humankind, this particular crab spider is of significant importance to flying insects in that the venom from this spider acts almost instantaneously to paralyze a flying insect. It can literally paralyze a fly or a bee uh, within a couple of heartbeats. And that is significant. It means that that venom has evolved over the centuries to do that. Now why that is, is unlike a web-based or web-living spider, a web-based spider, this spider has to hold on to the prey with its front legs and therefore can be bitten or stabbed by a sting. And so she needs to overcome those animal defenses very quickly. So she holds on to the flying prey, bites it, and that then almost instantaneously disables the flying prey. She then moves to the bottom side of the leaf and finishes off her meal. So one of the most highly evolved spiders that we have out here is this crab spider and deadly to flying insects. Not so deadly to us luckily, but deadly to flying insects. I'm going to put her back up here so that you can see how we saw her. I'm just going to let the plant go. That's how she's hanging around. Quite often what they'll do is they'll stick out their front legs and they'll hold them out in front of them, almost sort of like at a, if you were to hold your arms out to your sides and slightly forward. That's how they do it. Very, very nice spider. I quite enjoy these crab spiders, to be honest with you. Now, I want to see if she's got an attending male. <laughs> 